The USDA's Cattle on Feed report Wednesday showed the number of animals in the nation's feed yards as of November 1st up 3.2 percent from 2017. The big surprise of the report was the placement number for October at 93.9 percent of a year ago, which was well below the average of analyst estimates at 99.1 percent. Marketings last month were up 4.8 percent from a year ago and generally in line with pre-report expectations. For more on the latest cattle on feed data, subscribers should click on the red meat tab in Comtel. In other news, poultry market reporter Dylan Hughes is here with the latest turkey market analysis. The number of tom and hen pulse destroyed for the week ending November 14th is substantially above that of the past two years. Some suspect that the reason behind these changes is rooted in the basic forces of supply and demand. In order to curtail what is being perceived as excess production and to improve the near record low price points inherent to breast meat, processors began to increase their destruction of tom pulse. In that same light, multi-year low on bagged bird values has caused processors to initiate steps in bringing down the production figures as well. As we move forward, observers will keep an eye on Q2 output as well as market values to see if current efforts at fine-tuning production impact the destiny of 2019's market. Thanks Dylan. Next up, we'll take a look at current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions with Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide. Here's Amanda Buckle with the latest movers of the week. Shell egg prices experienced seasonal upticks since the end of October as buyers prepared for Thanksgiving. As flocks sized up into larger sizes for the holidays, lighter weights tightened. Price conscious buyers took advantage of cost spreads between sizes, driving prices higher for both mediums and smalls over the last few weeks. After some softness leading into the holiday, some beef items seemed to gain traction as buyers prepared for the market after. Brisket saw a call as buyers wanted to get a jump on the early year procurement that usually happens for the March period. Lastly, we turn to our only item in the red this week, pork. The immediate lead up to Thanksgiving is not typically a strong period for many pork items, and this year was no different. In the wake of record-breaking production figures and soft demand, ground pork declined by 8% last week. Thanks, Amanda. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to visit Comtel for the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Epsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.